Today was a busy day at George's apartment. Professor Wiseman was coming to dinner, and the man with the yellow hat wanted everything to be just right. I have an idea. Why don't I finish getting the apartment ready and you go to the store? <laughs> Great, let's make a list. <laughs> okay, I need carrots for my famous carrot cake. <laughs> Cucumbers for my famous cucumber soup. <laughs> and uh, apples for my famous uh, bowl of apples. Welcome to Hua Mai Grocery and Takeout. It's our grand opening. George thought the food looked delicious. But the fruits and vegetables looked different somehow. Next on the list, red round apples. Now this looked like an apple. Were these carrots? George didn't know for sure, but they looked like carrots and were bunched up like carrots. Here you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> but this is a pomegranate, George, not an apple. Huh? Yes, and I don't know what these other things are. I'm sorry. I can't read this. <laughs> Why don't we taste some things, and then maybe you can find what you want? <laughs> Even the ones that smelled bad were delicious. George wasn't sure what he had bought, but he knew it all tasted good. Yeah, that's great. Uh, then would you slice the cucumbers into the soup and put the apples in the fruit bowl? Thanks, George. <laughs> what is that awful smell? <laughs> George, uh, thanks for finishing the soup. It smells strange. Is this a cucumber? Mm. It tastes like eggplant. <laughs> it is eggplant. So what did you put in the carrot cake? <laughs> mm. is, it, is this some kind of radish? Radish cake and eggplant soup and a smelly fruit bowl. <laughs> Interesting. George couldn't understand it. Well, we still have, oh, 10 minutes. Oh, well, I guess we should just order takeout. Huh? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> George, <laughs> perfect uh -huh. timing. George, is that your name? Uh-huh. Hello, I am Win Kuang An, owner of the Hua Mai Grocery and Takeout. This is my wife, Hua, and daughter, Mai. Oh, well, hello. Hi. We brought you eggplant curry, bun tit nung with nook kyum, a fish sauce with daikon radish. Oh, I love that sauce. Bitter melon soup, sa hat lo, which is pomegranate seeds in coconut cream and durian shakes. Mmm, it all looks great. And there's so much. Uh, would you join us? Huh? We would be honored. <laughs> A few days later, George headed back to Hua Mai. Someone's been talking. Me! 
I told everyone I know about how great the food is, and I know a lot of people. But don't worry, George. You'll always be customer number one. One room had an echo like that. He thought he had it. But all he found was a tiny insect that couldn't possibly make such a big sound. Oh, that's a nice recording of a cricket. Was it one of these? <laughs> you know, hundreds of crickets chirping together can make a soothing, peaceful sound. <laughs> but one little cricket in a quiet house can drive you bananas. <laughs> Now that the mystery was solved and George knew what he was looking for, this was going to be easy. Strange new sound. <laughs> and then George set the cricket free to happily hop back to his cricket home. <laughs> Did you free that cricket? <laughs> Good work. I am sure that's one happy cricket. Okay, um, that cricket left us some cleanup work, don't you think, George? <laughs> Whew, all done. <laughs> Ooh, sleep tight, George. Are you sure you put it outside? <laughs> you know, George, if we don't catch that cricket, we'll never get any sleep. I've got it! 
The man with the yellow hat didn't have the cricket, but he did have a solution. Okay. <laughs> Hundley and the doorman had built the most amazing train set ever. There was a future town, a farm town, and even a mountain town. <laughs> The western town goes right there. Relax, Hunley. George and his friends will be very careful. Uh -huh. Sure. Absolutely. But before Hundley knew it, the west was done. Uh-oh. The track is missing a pin. See? There it is. <laughs> Pin was lost. Don't worry, we'll find it. But the apartment was a wreck. <laughs> hey, good idea, George. We can make sifters with our fingers. First we had you, then we lost you. Wish we'd see you once again. First we had you, then we lost <laughs> Howdy, deputy. Time to mosey over to the tracks. Whoa, whoa. The deputy was confident it would all go without a hitch. But suddenly, a stranger rode in. A stranger could be bad news. Want to come see the train tracks get joined? <laughs> Citizens of Prairieville, welcome to the ceremony for the joining of the rails. Yeah! <gasps> what? Oh dear, I've lost the pin. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Just awful about losing the pin. <laughs> this is hopeless. The deputy thought she might be right. There was too much sand. Then the stranger realized all they needed was a sifter. Something with holes that would let the dirt out but keep the pin in. Suddenly, the stranger knew what to do. If he wanted a sifter with holes the right size, huh? <laughs> He'd have to make it himself. <laughs> this was bigger than the pin from the box. If the stranger used it to make holes, the pin would fall through them. But this was a perfect size nail. It would make a hole that would let the dirt out, but keep the pin in. all set up. Ah! Aw, oh, and you saved the last pin for me. Cool! <laughs> Hundley was happy the train was back on track. This is great! And I've got the perfect name for it. 
Hunleyville. What do you think of that, Hunley? Uh, Hunley? Prairieville was neat and clean. Had the best sheriff you've ever seen. Fancy, beautiful wrapped present. <laughs> Why just wrap empty boxes? <laughs> this is not a display, it's, it's a story. Remains of the birthday. Brilliant. I love it. Wrapping always hid surprises. So why wrap these if everyone could see right through it? been looking all over for you. George wanted to play with the wrapper people some more. But he had to get these pants home. George hadn't been gone very long. But when he got back, the present had disappeared. I know how curious a little monkey can be, so I put the present away. That should take your mind off of it. But hiding the present only made George more curious. <laughs> it looked like wrapping on top of more wrapping. <laughs> Maybe there were a hundred layers of wallpaper under here. Or not. But it didn't want to go. Then he thought of a way to make this the perfect bathroom for the professor's birthday. <laughs> uh, is that you, George? Make sure you wash up before Professor Wiseman gets here. <laughs> and would you make sure that bowl of her favorite fresh fruit is out where she'll see it? <laughs> you can't get away with that. <laughs> You didn't wash. This hand is all sticky. Okay, now, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened in here? Uh... Oh, Professor Wiseman, help me hide this mess. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, George. Everything okay? Oh, you <laughs> are. I'll be right out. I got your favorite fruit. Help yourself. Ooh. <gasps> Is this a benangerine? You can't put skins on fruit, George. Only nature can do that. <coughs> on the other hand, nature doesn't make benangerines. Uh, sorry, I I'm... Happy birthday from George and me. Oh, you didn't have to. Would you like to help me open it, George? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed that's what was in this big box. That's, uh, that's why it was wrapped that way. Oh, my favorite symphony. You remembered. Thanks. Let's listen to it during dinner. 
Oh, here, I'll get that. George figured he'd better eat something. Because this was gonna take a while. Hunley could finally reach that itchy spot, which felt great. Until he saw that he was out of uniform. Are you trying to drink that dirty water? Woo, woo, woo. Oh, how sad. Woo. No collar. Oh, you have no home. Oh, you can relax now. I'll get you clean water and a loving home. There was no Hundley. Huh. He'd never left his post before. <laughs> Hundley couldn't understand why this nice lady would bring him to such a terrible-looking place. Oh, what a handsome guy you are. And you look so dignified. Well, maybe it wasn't all bad. This one had excellent taste. <laughs> Hundley was never so happy to see George. It was pretty obvious he wanted to go home. Excuse me, please do not shake up that nice dog. found a stray monkey, and so cute! We could find him a new home easily. <laughs> we have an open cage right here. <laughs> Next, he had to explain his Hundley escape plan to his team of experts. <laughs> he showed them where the cages were and which one had Hundley in it. <laughs> oh, how sweet. <laughs> Phase two, the escape artist. Better check the cages. There's no one missing. Or maybe he could. Shh. Please. Thank you. <laughs> he was so sure it slid out. Maybe he pushed when he should have pulled. George hadn't figured out phase three, how to get out unseen. Would you please go see what's upsetting them? Oh, it's just the cleaning lady. Oh, the cleaning lady. Stop her, please. I got to pay her. Oh, too late. She's gone. There was one step left to complete George's plan. Now that Hundley felt dignified again, George could get back to his game. <laughs> and
and Hundley could get back to defending his lobby's dignity. Looks like your bag monkey's not so good with lunch meat. That's baloney. He knows exactly what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> this competition is so in the bag. You almost had it. Get some rest and you'll be ready for the big day tomorrow. George sure didn't feel ready. He wished there was some way to practice more before the contest. George realized it wasn't just food he could practice fitting together. to the 14th Annual Bag Olympics. Our contestants are warming up before the three-round bag elimination contest. Look, it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you bag the produce. <laughs> Just go out there and have fun. <laughs> On your marks, get set, bag! Elimination. George is doing great. All of our hard work must have paid off. <sighs> the monkey's gotten good. But don't worry, I'll win this. All righty then. It's come down to these two. Representing Large Mart, the fastest bag of the side of Endless Park, the angsty team from Avenue 14, Rodney! Representing City Grocery, the monkey with Moxie, the battling beggar from Inn Avenue, George! <laughs> Beggars, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, ready to win. On your marks, get set, bang! <laughs> Oh no, a canned ham. The beast of all processed meats. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Think outside the bag, George. Yeah. George realized that ham and cheese always go great together. George! <laughs> no! Oh, great job, George! But but how did you get so good? <laughs> I am impressed. Hmm. 
Too bad there's no room for your trophy. Professor Wiseman says I should show my drawings to Dr. Forbin, but she didn't say why. She only said it's a great chance and I should hurry over. Come on, can't be late. <laughs> I have to be at the airport in an hour. I can't wait around. Don't worry, he's always on time. Uh, we're in too much of a hurry to walk. We're gonna take the bus. George saw something that really caught his eye. A bus stop with lots of free maps. George? <laughs> George, this isn't our stop. We, we have a long way to go. Next stop, First Street. Uh-oh. My portfolio, wait, stop! This is not a problem. This is not a problem. All that happened is the bus drove off with my presentation. Duh, the one I'm supposed to show in seven minutes. <laughs> right, we have a map, so we know exactly where that bus is going. We just have to catch up with it. Taxi, tax, go! Oh. <laughs> George! I have to leave in six minutes. He'll be here. <laughs> George needed to find something else moving in the right direction. <laughs> the truck was going the wrong way. find out how the sand gets into sandboxes. <laughs> Is that your bus stopped at 10th Street? Yes, that's it. Do you see George anywhere? Who's George? You want a bus, then a monkey, then a bicycle, then a portfolio, now a George. I'm so sorry. I must get to the airport. Oh, I'll wait here. When he shows up, I'll tell him you had to go. George was so happy to stop, he almost didn't notice where he was. George had done it. He'd gotten there first. Taxi! What is... <gasps> wow! Is this yours? Because I could use this. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> They're great. There's George. Stop the cab. George, my portfolio, my drawings. Dr. Forbin. Dr. Forbin? Uh, he didn't tell me to look for a Dr. Forbin. You say these are your drawings? They're exactly what I need for signs in our children's museum in Paris. I want you to come to Paris right away and work with me. You hear that, George? We're going to Paris! Yeah! Huh? So you took a cab to catch a bus, to find a monkey, to get a portfolio, to show a doctor, to take a cab, to catch a plane, to go to Paris? That's a busy Sunday morning. Please, hurry. We have a plane to catch in one minute. Wow. 
wow, this is the latest he's ever been for anything. Okay, George, time for the seeds. We'll start with the eggplant. <laughs> um, you didn't dump all six seed packets in there, did you? Uh, oh, no, stop. <laughs> you can't plant different seeds together. They won't grow right. <laughs> hmm. Mixing seeds might make interesting new plants. Well, George, each type of seed has different needs and must be planted just right. Huh. Mamma mia! I made you a special veggie pizza! Extra guava! The way you like it! <laughs> <gasps> so fast! You've already planted everything! Uh. Well, Chef, actually we... Ah, the melon mounds. Soon your eels will be alive! the succulent fruit and tomatoes. <laughs> Ooh, drink deep, my rosy darlings. Someday, you will be in my marinara. Oh, boy. I hope the grocer has seeds left. Sorry, George. I'm all cleaned out. <laughs> oh. George hated to disappoint the chef. He always looks so happy on his box. Maybe different color seeds produce different plants. <laughs> Sorting by both color and size, George ended up with six piles of different seeds. But George didn't know where to plant the seeds. Which ones were the corn? Which were tomatoes? forgot about those hungry pigeons. <laughs> those watermelon seeds match the seeds in one of his piles. <laughs> That's going to be one crazy salad, George. <laughs> There were seeds inside the pepper. And they matched a pile too. And even the corn. George, Professor Wiseman has a whole book about seeds. Wow. <laughs> well, you don't need my help. You've got a monkey. <laughs> Well, I'll be. <laughs> That's the last one. What should we do with the extra seeds? George and the man with the yellow hat took excellent care of the roof garden together. Um, George. <laughs> Until at last, the vegetables were ready to be picked. Everyone, please thank my friends for the delicious vegetables you are eating tonight. <laughs> for you, eggplant parmesan a la Giorgio. And a friend. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh. They say the best meals come from a chef's heart.
but sometimes they come from the roof of a monkey. <laughs>